Hi, my name is Nick. Today we're going to be making some chocolate chip cookies. All right, first off, we're going to wash our hands. And next, we're going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. All right, first step, we're going to be uh, replacing the one half cup of butter with a uh, uh, full cup of shortening to accommodate some dietary restrictions. So first we're going to place some shortening into this bowl to uh, weigh it out. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to dump out the water into the sink. to the bowl. All right, next we're getting one cup of brown sugar. And we're just gonna scoop it out of here and make sure to pack it down. In it goes. We're going to get our white sugar and we're going to get half a cup of white sugar. And now we're going to bring these ingredients over here and we're going to place them using our first baking cooking technique in the stand-up mix, stand mixer. Right, that looks good. Now we're gonna add in our eggs and vanilla. We're gonna add our eggs into a separate bowl to reduce the risk of getting eggshells in the batter. One and a half tablespoons or teaspoons of vanilla. All right, now we're going to keep mixing. Now we're gonna bring some of this down with the spatula. Okay, we're gonna, all right, scraped all the batter off the sides of the bowl and off the mixing part and we're gonna keep mixing this until it's a somewhat fluffy consistency. All right, that looks pretty good. 
and we're gonna leave that in there for now and we're gonna get our dry ingredients right here. So first up, we're gonna to need to wash this, our one cup scoop. Okay, we're gonna get two cups of milk. And in here, we're gonna grab a knife to level it off. Make sure we get the right amount. space clean. Let's see. All right. Next, got our second set of measuring spoons. And we're going to get one teaspoon of baking soda. Next, we're going to get a half teaspoon of salt. And there we go. And we're going to stir this together a little bit. And we are going to add this gradually into the other mixture. And while we're at it, let's add a little bit more in here. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And let's add the rest in as well. All right, now we're going to add the rest of our flour mixture into the mixing bowl. Keep mixing until it's nice and doughy and sticky. And that looks good. All right, now we're gonna get all of this batter into the bowl. chocolate chips ready. So for this we need five, 350 grams of chocolate chips. So we are going to weigh that out here. Alright, now we're going to go put this in the sink washing for later and we're gonna pour in our chocolate chips and we are going to start mixing this together gonna mix this together with a spatula with by hand All right, I think this looks good. So we're gonna start getting them ready for the oven.
All right, now we're gonna get started placing the cookies onto the cookie sheet. Now, this might be a very uh, time where you might want to uh, snack on your cookie dough. However, eating raw eggs can cause salmonella, which is a very bad uh, infection, and you, therefore you should not eat some your raw cookie dough. And here I'm using a cookie dough scoop, and as a rubber bottom, and I can push out the cookie dough onto the cookie sheet. All right, we've got 12 cookies on our baking sheet, and these are ready to go into the oven. Now, let's get our oven mitts, because we do not want to burn ourselves when putting the cookie sheet in and taking it out of the oven. And in they go, careful not to burn yourself. Kitchen safety is very important. Let's close it up and start the timer for eight, 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna go with 10. Time for cookies. Let's get these out of the oven using our oven mitts again. Close this up and turn off the oven. Now we're going to let these cool for a few minutes before we put them onto the cookie rack. All right, now that these have cooled off for a few minutes, we're going to get our lifter and we're going to get these cookies onto the cooling rack. All right, now we just gotta eat them. This is Nick signing off.